Hello and welcome back to another episode of Sci-Fi Night Light. I'm your host, Sebastian Mel Martinez, and we're continuing the theme of the masks used by villains in horror and slasher films. So, you know, I love me some Resident Evil 4, and a chainsaw man is without a doubt one of the scariest things about that game. In part because of a chainsaw, but also because you gotta wonder what he's hiding underneath that burlap sack he wears. The old burlap sack or tied up sheet over face is a surprisingly common mask used by villains in many movies. In fact, not just in movies. After all, the KKK have been making sure to remind us for many years that sheets over the face equals villain. Let's continue the mask theme we got going in this special miniseries of Sci-Fi Night Light. One of the first sack-faced villains we got to see was in the 1976 film The Town That Dreaded Sundown. A film that gives kind of a Texas Chainsaw massacre slash Friday the 13th-ish feel when it comes down to a villain. I guess the fact that it reminds me of Friday the 13th shouldn't be too strange considering that Jason Voorhees' very first mask wasn't his iconic hockey mask, but a simple burlap sack tied over his face. It was used in a Friday the 13th Part 2, the first film where Jason is actually the killer. That same year we got Dark Knight of the Scarecrow, which actually looks pretty creepy. A character that steals the show in Clive Barker's 1990 film Nightbreed is Dr. Decker, whose mask is made of fabric and sticks in her minds. Left we'll fast forward to 2005 and the mega hit Batman Begins for an expert lap sacked villain, the Scarecrow. Now really this movie doesn't belong here because it is a bit too famous, but perhaps Cillian Murphy's portrayal of a classic Batman villain inspired Guillermo del Toro when he was making El Orfanato. The 2007 film featured a creepy bag-faced kid running around and creeping us out. One of the three killers in the 2008 depression that is the film The Strangers wore a sack over his face and it made the film seem a lot scarier than it actually was. The 2009 film Triangle featured a killer that was suspiciously similar to Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th Part 2, and as recently as 2011 we got a scarecrow killer in the film Husk that of course masks itself with a burlap sack. So that was the second part of this unofficial mask series we've got going on a sci-fi nightlight. I'm your host Sebastian Martinez and I'm signing out.